Hey hey Koizumers! Welcome to today's stream. Today we're going to play a childhood game of mine and maybe from some of you as well, namely the Pokemon trading card game from the Game Boy. I used to really love this game but now it's been a really long time since I last played it and we're starting fresh. I think it's about to teach us how to play, but we can probably get through that very fast. I just want to make sure I'm sure about the current rule set this is played under. If I'm right this game was set back when there wasn't a hard once per turn limit on the trainer cards yet, but we'll find that out eventually I guess. If we can use multiple draw cards in a turn then we know it's that rule set ha ha ha. But yeah, I think after we complete this tutorial we'll be able to pick out a starter deck from 3, just like how you'd pick a starter in the main Pokemon games. Anyway, how is everyone today? Having a nice day so far? Oh that's right it's on the Switch now ain't it? I might play that on my Switch Lite again soon. It's very fun so I might just play it when I go outside. But yeah for me it's been literally what? When did this release? Like 2000? Or 1999? 1998? One of those. So yet it's probably about 23 years since I last played it. Now keep in mind, I'm totally 21. This is the problem with me playing childhood games hey. It's hard to keep up the totally 21 from debut when I do. I'm doing alright, I did just listen to a story that kinda... How to put it? It kinda threw me off. Like it was a really good story but the ending had a really heavy theme. I've basically been scouting for stories I want to use for my mute streams. And that was a contender but I'd never read the ending and like. Yet it's a good thing I checked. Yet I listened to what was it called? Baraska I think. It's a very good story and well written but the ending hit me really hard. So I don't think we're doing that one. If you are planning to read it yourself, please keep in mind it has really heavy themes before going into it.
Yeah for me it just really caught me off guard that it went there. So it hit extra hard. But it is definitely a good story. Just not for kids. It's too heavy themed for that. And I want to keep it like. Pretty light. Spooky but light. So I'm looking at other stories for now. I do think ones like left right game will be suitable though. And I have a few others I've found. Trying to find longer ones that aren't really bad can be difficult though. If you know anything about those type of stories. You'll know they are very hit or miss. So we might also cover some really bad ones for the fun of it. Like some are very cheesy or just random. If you never read Jeff the Killer, that's an example of a funny one I'd say. Like it's so all over the place it becomes funny. Let me write that one down and I'll check it out later. I probably know it but I'm dumb with names. Alright yet I wrote it down. Jeff the killer is so bad it's funny. Oh right that one. I remember that one, that one could be fun. But yet I'll try to find a few more and then we can do those while having a mute steam. Stream. It's nice to have mute streams for my arms sometimes now that I'm still lower energy but I know they can be kinda, not that interesting right now. So I figured if we tell those stories it might become a bit more enjoyable for both parties. I'll just become the story's bot ha ha ha. Maybe we should make a place on Discord where people can suggest stories.
Wrote that down as well before I forget again. That way you all can send interesting, or really random stories as well. But yeah for now we should probably get through this tutorial game. I think this first on is probably heavily scripted but we'll see. I believe this is set in the time the first player could attack as well. It's been so long I'm not sure though. Goldine? But why ha ha ha? Goldine is kind of bad. I mean it's been over 20 years since I played it so not really, but I'm sure we can figure it out. At least the basics are still the same. This game does make me realize just how much the game has power crept. Like looking at their stats is funny. Water energy let's go. I'm about to I know this guy so hard. Watch me whip out Miss Magius. Oh my 40 HP ha ha ha. The low HP is so funny now. Yes so we can attack first turn I was right. That means it's also the era where we have unlimited trainers in a turn. That's so weird now to see. So I guess we evolve it. From 40 to 70 let's go. Alright sounds like a plan. Oh right the old stuff had levels didn't they? Level 28 seeking go. Waterfall go.
Suki it seems you are banned in runes chat, don't worry you'll be free in a moment ha ha ha. Hey hey Yuaki, welcome in. I share ban info with a bunch of people so if you misbehave I can see it ha ha ha. Okay we are getting low on HP here. Yeah let's power up our bench. I forgot how much slower this game used to be. Like I have so little HP and survived two attacks, it's crazy. Oops I almost forgot to press A. I got distracted my bad. Two prize cards? I guess it's for tutorial purposes. Level 41 holy ship we're level 28, chill. Our poor goldfish. Drowsy hi, why is that in our water deck? I guess we do what it wants for now. Poor seeking about to die. Oh right I've been playing a bunch of Final Fantasy off stream since last stream. I actually just got to Endwalker now. So we're slowly beginning to catch up. That's a lot of funny words game, I ain't reading that but I soster you. Stir you got it. But yet we're getting close to Dawn Trail now and I'm on the final expansion before it. I mean so far I can do anything solo besides the trails. Trials. So I'd say so. 
I'm playing it solo for now. There are a lot of mini games you can play as well if you don't want to do end game rating and such. Yeah you can check it out for free up until Stormblood or something. So I'd suggest just trying it without paying a sub first. Because that's hundreds of hours of content. I'm not doing the meme emmy ha ha ha. But yet I was thinking about doing it. Yet it's very generous. I'd highly suggest trying it if you're interested. Interested. No it doesn't have a time limit anymore, it used to but not anymore I think. It's become extremely generous with it. This tutorial is longer than I expected not gonna lie. Sorry I had to drag the game up a bit. That's why the music got stuck. I saw the game twice and it was bothering me. But yeah you can play it perfectly well solo for most of it. And the mini games are a lot of fun personally as well. You can even play Mahjong in it ha ha ha. Let's go Starmie is here. Totally unexpected. Do we need another energy? Let me check. Okay we're fine with three. I forgot about the random paralyze on some attacks ha ha ha. It's so random but I'll take it. He just got para hacked. Yeah we just attack, I understand game.
Is this part really needed ha ha ha? I feel like anyone gets that at this point. Nice we won the tutorial time to pick a deck. Poor Sam got his ass beat. The music is so happy. I mean you're welcome to give tips for this game, normally I'd rather not but I've played this game before so it's whatever. Whether I listen to it is a whole different story though. I am known to ignore tips on purpose because I don't care much for backseating ha ha ha. Fair fair. I'll keep it in mind but I don't think we'll get super far today yet so maybe for later streams. Okay so fire, water, or grass. Bulbasaur is my favorite starter but like. I don't remember Venusaur being great in the TCG at this time. But wait is that annoying vile plume in this game. If vile plume is in it wouldn't be bad to go grass. I'm looking for an excuse to play Bulbasaur ha ha ha. I don't think so lets me try. Yeah no we can't see the deck. Fuck it we're taking Bulbasaur. This could be anything. I wonder what friends he brought. Okay let's see. Caterpie and Metapod but no Butterfree. Energy Trans High. Pride Month is here.
Alright so we get to attach stuff. This is actually really good, if we get enough draw. Wow. It's alright actually. It's good if we swap out. No way ha ha ha. Why did they change harden to stiffen that sounds so much worse. I forgot that's how they put it on the card. I think I had Dutch cards at the time so I never realized. This deck is kinda. I mean. It's kinda bad right now hey. The attack cost for this one is really high. But it's a starter deck so it's whatever. Wait we run a Flareon? Do we even have a EV? Oh my it really is just anything we have ha ha ha. Okay well we'll make it work and swap out a lot as soon as possible. I guess we go water gym. It's probably our best matchup for now. Water club, not gym, my bad. Who the fuck is this, I don't remember you. Is this like Gary? Ronald the rival. No not really, I'm trying to vibe with cards. Well okay I guess I am. Yeah the plot is literally the same as normal Pokemon. Even the Elite Four. Okay bye Ronald.
I'll forget about him in 5 minutes from now. Okay you there you look like an easy target. Oh my god hi Fluzzy, it seems you are hit in one of my friend's streams so just a moment and it should be back to normal. Hey Hagel you, you're right. What are you all up to in other chats? So many of you got banned in other chats should I be worried ha ha ha. You're the second person today, I'm worried. Usually it's just dual logs with that message on him. But he gets banned in everyone's chat as a joke. Let's go we're going first with draw Pokemon start. Actual gaming. Okay this doesn't even do anything does it? I mean I don't really need this no. Oh wow Zeta is actually here. Free draw let's go. Oh shit they play Scyther. That card is dangerous. Well then we are going to take a lot of damage. But all we can do for now is draw. Okay they do need 3 but it can hit for 60 right? Yeah that's a lot of damage holy shit. We need 4 to hit so I guess we just use this to draw. Power up something else like Eevee. We do have the Vaporeon. Might as well.
Yeah, this is the Game Boy game. It's one of my childhood games. It recently got re-released on Switch. I think it's in the Game Boy games thing. Wait why not to Scyther game ha ha ha. I thought they were attaching to Scyther and got worried. Yep but Emmy it's in the weird online sub bundle. So it's not just, you buy it on there. Yeah I'm definitely 21 like my debut said Fluzzy, that's why this childhood game is from 1998 or something. 2000 there we go, it's 2000. It's hard to keep up the 21 thing when this is my childhood game hey. Hey hey Regulus, welcome in and welcome home. Oh my god they got the support out. Oh right that's definitely it. I'm definitely 21 copium. Okay so that does confirm the era we play in since it was two trainers in a turn. Good to know I was right about that and the attack on first turn. We need an Ivysaur. If we get Ivysaur we can go Venusaur. Let's keep drawing I guess. For now we're both kinda stuck. Never mind. We're about to bloody die ha ha ha. I can't believe we drew this much but we still haven't gotten anything to out this scyther with yet. Let's keep drawing. Okay water energy is kinda useful I guess. 
Not really Ivysaur though. I think we might actually lose our first fight ha ha ha. Scyther is clapping us. It's rough how we drew one with our attack each turn but they still drew more thanks to hitting their trainers. Yeah we kinda ain't drawing good attackers. So we're kinda in trouble. I believe in you Vaporeon. Vaporeon is one of my favorite EV evolutions. It's really cute. If we hit one more heads it carries. Wait this is useful. I do hope we hit the Ivysaur, I'm investing in this Bulbasaur like crazy. Ok throw a heads now or next turn please. Ok next turn I need it or we lose this fight of Vaporeon. Last Chance Vaporeon We need the heads They also have a powered up Wigglytuff though Which is a problem Ok we need the heads here, badly. Let's go. At least we get another turn without fear of immediately dying. The problem is that it's only 3 prizes so after they take this we're in trouble. We are about to die here I'm pretty sure. Also this Wigglytuff has seen some shit. I thought this was the water gym by the way, 
I haven't seen a single water Pokemon yet. I've been had. Okay Ivysaur now or never. Damn alright we're coped. Coped. We need to retreat I was hoping to top deck it here but we need to do the goldfish. I was hoping, I had high hopes for my boy but no. This thing has so much HP as well. And it hits me for 50 right? Ok 60 now. This is so stinky, Water Gym is a scam. Amanda forgot she's in the Water Gym. Yet everything we have dies here. We are Mega EAD. Dead. Let's have full boss or die. For not drawing Ivysaur with so much draw from Kang Gaskin. Not much we could have done there. They just got too powerful until we drew literally anything. We drew like 6 turns in a row with Kangaskhan and found nothing. And they got one Professor's Oak into Bill which negated our draws pretty much in comparison. But I feel like she doesn't run a single water Pokemon for some reason, that's odd. Maybe this one does. Let's see if she runs water Pokemon. I went here for the matchup advantage but like, that felt a bit too powerful a deck for our starter. Go EV go! We got Vaporeon as well.
Okay, please be water. At least it's water. Oh my god, don't paralyze me. I forgot how legit the paralyzed strats were. Because turn 1 can attack. Time to hope they'll hit Tails Hui. Alright you're up. Next turn we can evolve out of it at least. Oh shit that card looks kinda cool. Of course now it misses. Watch it hit again after we evolve. Wait what? Revive. I forgot that's a card. That would be so insane nowadays. Just grab back an EX. Let's hope we find another water energy. We're playing a water deck now. It's kind of funny how both games so far are us just playing Vaporeon. While we picked grass. Okay miss please. Nice nice, now we need to hit. Okay if we hit heads here we KO it. Please hit heads. Before it evolves. Let's go. And now we need a good prize. Wait this is only two prize cards? Damn that's not a lot hey. That's a good prize hell yeah. I like it how they think low prizes means easier, but it's actually harder in a way. Because if they just paralyze hacks you like this, you are dead way faster. I guess we're throwing out a bunch of energy.
and our only Venusaur ouch. Oh well let's do it. It's alright so far but we are getting para hacked a bit. I'm surprised we haven't seen grass Pokemon this time. If Vaporeon dies we are kinda cooked right now. So please stop paralyzing me. This game is cursed. Why can't I hit heads? I'm crying. We're in trouble I'm not even gonna lie. Because it's also two prizes, so two paralyzed hits in a row might screw us over big time. Finally they missed. They have so much HP though I don't think Vaporeon will get much in here. Hey hey Divinity, welcome in. I need to change this deck so bad, it's horrible ha ha ha. But I think we need to win first to get there. To get new cards. This deck is really bad though holy shit. It's sad when this Vaporeon is our best attacker. While it does 10 to 30 damage depending on a coin OSS. Coin toss. Okay if we hit heads here we will KO. So we need that. God we can't even guarantee to hit it if Vaporeon goes down. So if we don't hit the heads and we get paralyzed we probably lose. Here goes. Let's go. We did it.
We hit head so hard. Skill issue clearly. I feel like maybe we should swap gyms though, this one is annoying. One doesn't play water and the one that does relies on paralyze hacks. Which is both very rough for this terrible starter. Oh shit hit mention that's good. Another oak as well. Good pack, I'll take it. I mean it's another Nidoran I guess. The rest is kinda whatever. We get packs after we beat someone yet. Let's add them in. Wait we have a bill so why is it not in by default, the fuck game? We don't need Flareon, we are Vaporeon only here. Random Seal and Dogong. Wait so we have one Vaporeon but it's been our Pokemon each game so far. Somehow we just keep finding it on her. Oh shit we got two hit mention. I thought we only got one. We do need more fighting energy kinda. Didn't we get another Tangela as well actually? I guess like this. I don't really see the point in the girl in this deck right now. I guess the second can search the guy but like. Two grass for that feels like a yikes. Since we don't have the evolution yet.
We lack a better option though so let's keep it I guess. Let's try Brock's gym. Rock gym let's try that. They might be a bit nicer here. Game. I see what you did that. And I'm not impressed. Stop oh my god. Am I fighting against a dad or something? This is definitely someone's dad. Hit mention but no fighting energy so benching it I guess. I guess we go Nidoran for the one energy 30 hit. That's a good amount of damage. And we also have plus power. So we can hit them hard and fast. Let me go first please. Let's go. Now if they have a low HP Pokemon we can win fast. Oh my god yes. And it's weak to us, let's go first turn kill. Okay hit heads. Let's go ha 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 ha. Shortest fight ever. Well that was an easy pack. Give me the cards. Item finder is decent. And more energy nice. I guess a third Nidorino might be okay. If we get some Nido King to go with it that'd be great. More Bill Hell yet. Okay these packs were great. Some nice consistency upgrades.
so we can get something with this if we need it. It is from discard though but still. We could use item finder on a bill or professor oak if we used it before. Which for now seems solid. We need to cut down on the amount of water Pokemon somehow. I guess we are going the Nidoran route for now. We could also go Dugtrio. Never mind. Too high costs. When did we get this? I kinda like this but it's another energy. Maybe once we get rid of our water stuff. So we can use lightning energy instead. Alright that's the deck for now. Let's fight him again. That fight was really bad for them. Attempt number 2 Don't let me KO you first turn again. This time we get the Hitmanchen starter. And only hit mention. Oh shit, that's a lot of HP. It has more HP than us somehow. But we hit for double that. Okay so for Onyx it's still hardened but for Metapod it's stiffen. Sure game. Sure ha ha ha. Maybe we can hit this ball? No, never lucky. Jab spam it is.
Oh right so on Final Fantasy I started leveling a ninja now as well. I love ninja but the latency does make it a bit harder to play. It can be a bit weird sometimes on NA for me because sometimes the inputs are behind. So I just have to believe it's going through ha ha ha. We could try and poke ball again. With item finder. Honestly might have to. Let's try. Never lucky. Let's just hope they won't KO our Hitmanchen Igus since we have no backups. Backups. This game is so slow I love it. Damn it evolutions. Okay shit they have Rapidash. And it's powered up as well. I think we might lose guys. No backup and it can kill Hitmanchen. So once we KO Onyx we're in trouble. I mean we kinda have to do it but we do lose if we do it. Not a single extra Pokemon what the hell. Well time to lose. Even the prize wasn't a Pokemon, that's impressive. Okay so we should live this thanks to our item. But yet we need something now and I don't think we can power up in time due to weakness.
Never mind we still didn't draw a single Pokemon lol. This is almost impressive. So many turns and only seeing one basic. I guess we deserve it after KO him first turn last time. Yeah nothing we could do about this unfortunately. Our deck is still so inconsistent it hurts. I can't help but feel like we might have picked the worst starter deck. Okay I'm doing one more game. After this one I'm going to sleep because I have the dentist in the morning. I don't really want to go there but I have to for checkup. Damn only one basic. We do have oak though. All the beefy boys are here. Caterpie is here, we're saved. I can't even remember what I used to play back in the day as deck. But I do love this old slow format. It makes for some funny games. And it's a nice change from the one hit KO stuff we have nowadays. Holy trainers. We hit a lot of them. We haven't hit a single poke ball yet I'm removing that card ha ha ha. Double grass you. Let's keep oak for next turn. So we can attach one of those energies. Let's go 3 heads. Max damage. Well I guess Nidoran earned its stay. 70 damage holy shit. 
she's MVP. Are they out of energies or something? I'm not complaining that's good for us. I think we just oak this. We should be okay. We saw all our trainers that's amazing. Running this much energy feels weird to me because in modern I use like 6 or something energy in my deck. This is like the complete opposite. Hey you still did some damage, good on you. They really just ran out of things to do ha ha ha. To be fair we ain't doing much either. Let's power this one up so we can poison if we want to. It's more reliable than this coin flipping. Though Nidoran has the potential to do a lot. I think retreat is one on this Nidoran. Yes so we go Tangela and poison for KO. weakness and then poison. This time he kinda bricked hi. These early games are very inconsistent for real. Snurlax looks great in this. More neater and ha ha ha. Let's hope we find a king soon. We can just become a Nido King Gamer.
They also love giving us defenders. I guess that's not terrible this early though. For later on I'd rather get plus powers though. We're out of grass Pokemon, one more. I mean we could play Snurlax but it's so costly. I don't think we'll ever use this realistically in our deck. That's good enough for now. I guess we need to do the grass gym at some point for more Volbasaur and such. Right now we're looking at a Nido King deck with Hitmanchen though ha ha ha. Like going those with Kangaskhan or something would be fun. Alright I think I'm going to leave it here for today though, I know it's kinda short but I do need to get up in like 6 hours for the dentist. So let's find someone to raid into. Someone I know so I can raid and dash. Ok Madruxak is playing something Pokemon let's go there. They're on a egg lock with Rune I think. Alright be nice to them, let's continue this another time. It's always fun playing old games. I'll see you all again on Friday. Bye bye for now.